guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and I create videos on absolutely everything coloured pencil related. Today is a little bit of a different video and one which will be a feature every single month on my channel from now on. You probably guessed by the title and that is monthly favourites, yes! I wanted to start this late last year but I thought it would make more sense to start it at the beginning of the year so I waited until 2019 and we're going to start off this year with this feature video. I'm also coupling this video with another idea I had which in a future months will be its own sort of showcase video but I am rapidly running out of days in January to upload. <laughs> so this is going to go at the end of this video and that is a community showcase. I'm so excited about this. So at the end of this video I'm going to showcase some artworks posted by you community members. So first of all I'm going to show you what my favourite products of January 2019 are. I'm going to start off with the Finesse Blender Pen. If you watched my wet blending methods comparison you probably saw this and already know that I absolutely love it. Like I seriously love it so much. I've been using this a lot since the beginning of December and it just does such a fantastic job at blending stuff. I'm yet to come across any issues with it as well, so that's good. This is now a staple item in my coloured pencil kit and I'm finding myself reaching for it more and more with each piece. Next up is the Sakura Jelly Roll Pen. Oh my days. I have been after one of these for so damn long and I always forget to add these to my basket when I'm shopping on Amazon and I finally got some thanks very much to my husband who purchased a set as a Christmas present for me so thank you Simon. I used to use a Uniball Signo white gel pen and I always had issues with ink flowing, it was really inconsistent and it often banded as well and this is like a new magic item which has solved all of those problems. I can now get solid white lines without breaks or banding or absolutely anything like that and now my white lines look amazing. This next one is another staple that I have added to my coloured pencil kit and that is the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen, specifically the brush tip variety. I use this to hype up the contrasts in the dark areas on all of my pieces and I have used this on every single piece religiously this month and it has made all of my pieces look so much better. I love this supply so much and I really don't know why I was scared of adding this to my coloured pencil pieces before because it really does make such a difference. If you want to check out how I use this supply in my pencil drawings I'll leave a card up above and I'll also leave a link in the description for you guys as well. This is completely light fast and waterproof so I have absolutely no hesitations with adding this into my coloured pencil pieces. The last supply that made it to my favourites this month is the Swordfish Icon the 4100 sharpener. Man does this do a good job at sharpening. For all of those I was asking recently about my super duper sharp tips on my pencils, especially those on Instagram. This is the tool that has gotten all of those and I've been using this without fail because it is just so fantastic and I kind of feel like I'm cheating a little bit on the Derwent Super Point Mini because it's just kind of sitting there on the reject shelf at the moment, just don't know what to do. I'm always reluctant to try new sharpeners and other things but I am so glad that I did with this one an amazing little sharpener. So I couldn't really end the favourites list without actually featuring some coloured pencils and there have been two which I am in love with. These are both Prismacolor pencils and they are the Pomegranate PC195 and the Black Raspberry PC1095. And why these I can hear you ask? Well they have been doing such an amazing and outstanding job 
on my personal project piece of a pair of wax wings. If you join in my live streams, you would have seen me drawing live on these and you would have seen these pencils in action as well. These are the perfect colors for drawing the berries and all of those little pink areas on this piece. And I really couldn't have done without them because from my swatch cards and just through experimenting with different pink colors, there aren't really any equivalents to these colors in my other sets. I also love the way that these two pencils in particular blend and work with my other brands of coloured pencils. I don't usually use a lot of Prismacolor pencils in my artworks but these have made their way into this waxwing piece and I seriously, I really couldn't have done without them. So they are my favourites for the month of January. If you want to check anything out that I've mentioned, I have left everything, where to find them and every, all of that stuff in the description down below. So go and follow those links if you want to check out any of the items I've mentioned. I've already purchased a whole bunch of stuff that I'm gonna be trialing throughout the month of February to compile February's favorites list. But if there is something in particular that you think or that you know that I should be trying out, then pop me a comment down below. As I mentioned, this next part will have its very own featured video next month, but here are a few pics from images submitted to my post over on my Facebook group. We have some great artists over there in the group and it's really building a sense of community now. I love seeing all of your art and anything inspired by any of my tutorials or videos. So if you want to be more involved, check out the link below. If you want to be featured in February's video, I'll be adding a post around mid-February to the Facebook group for you to add your art to. And I'll also be picking a few pieces posted to the group's timeline. And you can also tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag AmyHowardArt to make sure that I see your pieces. I also feature artworks on my Insta story every now and then from that hashtag as well. like this video make sure you give it a super big uh, thumbs up with that button below and if you're new around here and you're not yet a subscriber then why on earth not hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one along with other colored pencil tutorials as well i post new videos every single friday and i live stream most sundays as well which is always really good fun so if you want to get involved with that and join the growing community here then make sure you do hit that subscribe button anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will catch you next week bye I really hurt my elbow. <laughs> Ow! Jesus!